Hey, it's Johnny Hawthorne for Exotic Pedals. Today we're going to take a look at the EP Booster and the five most popular questions we get all the time. Let's take a look at them. Should I run my EP Booster on 9 or 18 volts? Basically, 18 volts gives you slightly less compression and a little bit more headroom. So if that's the sound you're looking for, try it out. You can actually power the EP Booster with 9, 12, 15, or 18 volts. Where should I place the EP Booster on my pedal board? There are no rules. Most players tend to put their booster after the overdrive, and this will boost the tone of the overdrive pedal. However, you can do it in front of the overdrive as well. As I said, there's no rules. Can I use the EP Booster in my effects loop on my amp? Yes. Many players do this and have the EP Boost as their leave-on pedal, so it never gets turned off. Does the EP Booster have a buffer? Yes. However, since the EP Booster is a true bypass pedal, the buffer is off when the pedal is off. What do the dip switches do inside of the pedal? Switch number one functions as a 3 dB gain when the switch is on, and switch number two is a bright switch. They are both in the on position for the default setting. If you prefer to have unity gain, simply take switch number one and slide it down. If you prefer the vintage setting, which is unity gain off and brightness off, simply put both switches down. That wraps up this edition of the five most popular questions on the EP Booster. For more information, check out exotic.us.